Before I end off here, we'll do five minutes of uh, funny things with this update. I have heard about that, yes. Uh, we'll jump into the sandbox real quick. I don't know if I want to play challenges. I'll check it out real quick. Alright. I guess since you went through the effort of making a challenge, if it loads. Just pop the Moab. Simple, right? Okay, so I already know this bug. <laughs> this bug is... Uh, they buff the Spolt to do 2 damage. But, however, if you buy uh, Quick Shots... And very Quick Shots... You lose the bonus. Also, why am I putting the Spolt there? It should be here. By the way, Spolt is now uh, the... Uh, Meta term, because Ninja Kiwi called that in the patch notes. First time. Don't know if that's the first time Ninja Kiwi's called something like by that name. <laughs> like their nickname. But yeah, that's cool. Anyways, we win. Let's uh, just retry the round with 3 2 0 to see what happens with the spike bolts. It now only does one damage. Yeah, that's coding. Coding this update, the cross pathing, you lose cross path benefits or the the buff with cross pathing. Very, very, very weird. Thank you for the challenge. Even though I probably could have just said in sandbox. Okay, there was another bug. Does this happen with any other, uh, any other towers? Okay, I heard about Striker Jones. <laughs> I'll show this one, too. Okay, so Striker Jones' uh, weird interaction is that there's a buff where he gets 25% more pierce now. So let me try it with, I don't know, a Spike Factory? Yes, it buffs Spike Factory, too. It's pretty crazy. So this should be doing... Uh, wait for it. Uh, 7 damage, 7 damage. Okay. By level 9. 6 damage. It loses damage. Apparently the buff disappears the moment Stricker levels up, so... It's kind of funny. Also, is there even a visual uh, indicator when you get level 8? No. But it's it just an, an invisible buff. It did 8 damage that time. 8 damage again. 7. It's doing a decimal amount of damage. <laughs> it's doing point something damage. Or is it just RNG if it gets 7 or 8 pierce? Might be RNG, I don't know. Either way, that's weird. Six damage again. There's no rainbows popping, though. If you noticed. It's a unity bug? Oof. <laughs> Unlucky unity. Anyways, uh, yeah. That's all I want to showcase for today, uh, unless there's another bug if anyone wants to tell me. Yeah, the bug is that, uh, hang on. Okay, wait, wait, let's test this. Let's test it. Let's test this. Uh, sandbox. Wait, can I sandbox, um, the sub? If I didn't unlock it in a real game? No, I, I think I did. I unlocked it already, never mind. Okay. Alright, let's try this bug. This on last should give you 10% uh, attack speed if it worked on boat. But let's show the difference. So, uh, it on last will do approximately uh, 52.250. And now on first, we'll send out the same pad. Okay. And if it's the same amount of damage, then it's bugged. It is bugged. So, did I just get a placebo effect when I did the one, the one sub run? I guess I got lucky the one time I won. Weird. Is this supposed to work on the last? Well, uh, there was a patch note. People are telling me there's a patch note. That boat works on last now. Let me let me try boat then. Last might have just been optimal. That's weird. Usually first is the way. Okay. Real quick. Let me show you that it works for the boat paragon, meaning it should work for the sub, right? Because it affects boat, sniper, and sub. Why does boat get special treatment if it's not a bug? So 131 on last. 131. One thirty-one and uh, one twenty-seven. 
So uh, that's confirmed. Blast is better. Although not by 10% for whatever reason. Boat has RNG with planes. Uh, okay. Wait, is it is it bugged with boats too? Hang on. I'll, I'll, I'll do multiple runs. In case it's like, you know, RNG. 124 this time. 124. Last. 131. That's a bigger difference, so it is confirmed. I think two tests is enough to show that last is, well, giving the attack speed on the, this one, but not the sub. Uh, those are the three bugs that I know of.